Man, oh man, here we go again, and we are back about to head out to the junkyard for some bubble top action. That's right, 61 bubble top. Now, if y'all been following the channel for a while, way back when, uh, we had a 79 Caprice. We've pulled out a 77 four door and a 79 two door. And the 79 two door is one of the few vehicles I've actually sold over the years. I usually hang on to everything. The gentleman who bought it, Kenny, of Kenny's Classics, uh, was an awesome guy. Uh, me and Kenny, we hit it off uh, just immediate friendship. Uh, he, he's fun to be in front of the camera and everything. He, he don't get timid and shy like most people do, which is understandable, but he was just kind of natural. Hey, it happens. <laughs> cars and craziness, it happens. No telling what happens. People get excited about cars, and they get shooting. You don't ever know what's going to happen. <laughs> we've stayed in touch, and we've wanted to do content together uh, two years now. The only thing is, he's extremely busy. He works full-time. He does his... Uh, Kenny's classic high, uh, side hustle and he's always on the go and of course I've been a million miles per hour for the last two and a half three years now uh, but we're finally getting together Merry Christmas to you guys I just realized it is Christmas uh, by the time this goes we will be back in town but me and my family's actually not doing presents this year we're gonna go away for a week together and do a trip together instead uh, so that's why I'm making this video on a Saturday. Whatever we get done, we get done. Hopefully we get some done and have some fun. And y'all have a good Merry Christmas. And it's just what I got to do to get us a video that I really hope y'all enjoy. As you can see, I was thrashing yesterday up until as late as I could. It is still a mess in here. I ain't even had time to clean yet. And now we're going to start packing up to head out for the day. And we're not going to have enough time to eat. And I know that. Last night we had some pizza, so I grabbed this ice cube block. I made threw some crackers in there, and that was a bad idea because they're just crunching up. Uh, but I thought I'd surprise us with a little lunch. I doubt he's gonna want to eat some cracker pizza, but you know we'll see. Now besides that, I'm trying to gather other stuff we're gonna need for working on old rusty cars. Propane torch. We probably need another extra can of the Luby Doobie. It's gonna be one of those situations where you can't have enough. Now, I've never worked with Kenny, so I don't know what he brings for tools, but I'm planning on bringing everything besides the kitchen sink. Hey, yo. Found one of the big old combo kits on sale like two months ago, guys. Got like six tools, this thing, and two big old batteries for like $410 online or something. It's crazy cheap. We're gonna put all of our power tools in here. Got the half inch impact. I'm gonna bring the saws off. Gonna bring the cutoff wheel. The old slice and dice. We'll, we'll bring the smaller impact, cause why not? We're gonna bring both of our wrist savers and some extra batteries. To be honest, probably overkill, but I'd rather have overkill than underkill. Propane looby dooby. Some gloves for me, some gloves for Kenny. Get us some paper towels. And where in the world? Our hand wipes. We gotta take our good sweet patina hand wipes. Oh, there they are, baby. These TKL hand cleaning wipes by the sweet patina, they do the job, guys. They're rough, they're tough, they're really good stuff. They're probably my favorite item he sells. I absolutely love these, love these things. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, if you wanna get you some, you head over to sweetpatina.com. Just use that promo code on the screen. That's pretty solid. Oh, we better get a couple extra cutoff wheels. Well, do we need to take the drill? What if we got to drill out a bolt or something? Let's get us some metal blades. We're going to get us a few cut off wheels. And we might as well take a drill, I reckon. Now that was just kind of power tools and hand wipes, I reckon. We got to get actual tools and pack socket set. And all of our other little extensions and adapters. Probably take a socket, regular old socket set. And maybe our impact extensions. We had that engine running just like a song. We're gonna take a couple speed wrenches. <laughs> Where's all my dang locking pliers? I found a pair and I found our side cutters. We'll take them and we'll take that. I'll take a magnet in case we're dropping bolts, who knows? We'll take our flashlights in case we're dropping stuff. In fact, we're gonna take two of them. We'll take a good pair of them, all right? One dies, boom, got another one on stealthy standby. I did grab hammers. We may need a little drive punch thingy, help us align a fender. But I haven't really elaborated on what we're doing. 
So, from my understanding, there's a 61 bubble top that's kind of a shell. I do believe it's attached to a frame-ish, and I think the suspension's underneath it, kinda. On top of that, and there's a four door that come with the deal. And I think Kenny's idea is to take the four door stuff and other parts he's gathered and put as much of it as he can on the bubble top and make it more of a complete car, kinda. I don't really know, I'm just along for the ride. I think we're sitting pretty good here. I mean, half the shop's damn near packed up. Uh, one thing though, he actually just called me, said he's running a little behind. He said he found a lot of stuff except for his caps for a 61. Well, I don't have caps for a 61, but I do believe those right there are from a 63. That's only two years off. And for the sake of as much as I like caps popped on a project to see how much I do like it, we're going to take them to pop on there. Aha! That should be a damned old juggler. And lastly but not leastly, I grabbed us some hardware, some nuts and bolts and stuff because I don't know what's going to be good or not good as we go try to swap fenders. Now I do got to apologize uh, for, I looked at my weather and I was like, oh, we're going to have a decent day. And then it changed to a uh, freaking, what do you call it? It's going to be windy is what it said, which cameras and wind do not usually make for good videos. So I apologize in advance. But it's kind of is what it is. We can't change the change the game plan now. So I'm gonna go grab my pickup truck. We were gonna take the tow roller, uh, but he said his trailer's down. So I'm just gonna take my truck and trailer. And once we get this thing, however he wants it, I told him we could just trailer it uh, to here, and then he could come get it whenever he wants it. That's quite nice. Let's see if she likes going off roading. Oh, not bad. Kind of ramped that sucker, didn't I? Man purse goes in the back. Already got his water. Yeah. Oh. Grabbed our tripod. We got a jack with us. That crate's going back to the salvage yard. Yeah. Let's go get the trailer. Well, trailer sitting over there mad at me. I ain't used it in a minute. Dang, that ain't bad for Mr. No Depth Perception. First try. All right, let's go to the junkyard and snatch us another rusty turd. You know, that's the thing about a rusty turd. You can take it and make it something like that right there. A shiny rusty turd. We have made it to St. Louis, Oklahoma. Home of not a whole lot. In fact, their sign says home of 179 friendly people, one busybody, and one pyromaniac. Most importantly to us, it is home of my good buddy Sammy's uh, salvage yard. St. Louis Salvage. There's the Pot County legend himself, Sammy. Got another one coming in, it looks like. Good morning. I'm gonna head up there to, towards wherever them cars are, if that's all right. Yep, do you know where they're at? Nope, I'll find them. All right, I'm thinking we're gonna be up kind of back this way. I'm not really sure where we're going. Uh, we'll probably just drive until we get a flat tire and that'll be a day. I said I kind of knew where, but I'm not really sure where he has these things. I thought he meant up around here but I do not see him. All right, we'll just drive on through the junkyard with the trailer. Hey, yo, we got some deer tracks through here. Uh, man, that wind's picking up. I'm sorry, guys. It's gonna mess up our video. It's gonna tick me off. I thought he said up around here. Oh, baby. All right, this is my first time seeing the cars, but that right there is a bubble top. My truck's plumb over here. All right, I was gonna say, he said by the crusher, I guess I should have looked by the crusher instead of driving right past it, huh? It's all right. Nice little, nice little walk this morning in the sun. I say this morning, it's like we're getting closer towards 11. I don't know if I'm gonna swing this. Yeah, we should be able to swing it just back up, back up a little bit here. Yeah, this ain't too bad. I've been a little dramatic. It, that wasn't too bad. Oh, as I get the gas tank. Can y'all see that? <laughs> Got a gas tank with the tires. Don't hit Mordsky's school bus, that old short bus he used to ride on right there. A little backstory, or my backstory on this car, these cars anyhow, is, uh, so gentleman I go to church with actually said, hey, did you know Sammy has a bubble top car down there? He has that and a four door, and uh, he priced them to me pretty decent for the pair. And I was like, oh, really? 
So I go to call Sammy or get a hold of Sammy. And then he said, your buddy Kenny already bought them. And they are up in there. I'm gonna have to go see my buddies at the tire shop before too long, get some tires put on this thing once they're all flat. All right, here we go. All we can see is a Puddin's Fab Shop sticker, but we're headed back. I wanna back our trailer up in there uh, close to it, cause I'm kinda thinking we can lay out all of our tools on our trailer, kinda use it like a workbench. All right, we're pretty good right there. Just used half tank gas backing up that hill. 93.3 Jake FM, Oklahoma's new country. Got some information for you, Jake. Uh, new country ain't country. If that ain't outlaw country, I don't want it. Country DJs knows that I'm an outlaw. Hey, that's a pretty, pretty good backup job, I think. We can lay out our tools now. Here's our four door. We're gonna start giving her the, the look over here. Like I said, first time getting to see these. Someone. <laughs> That is the most redneck repair I've ever seen in my life. Y'all, I could not even make this up. That is 100% a can from like a food or something. See the lines in it? And those are nails. Someone nailed that over that. And then, yeah, they had some body filler on that. You can't even, oh my goodness. Welcome to Green Bean Customs. Oh, that little rest right there. Let me get my green bean can and we'll patch it up. They did this side too. Oh, I see that was actually a little flat head screw. The heads of those had just rusted off. It had been so long. That's an indicator of how our day is going to go. This is going to be fun. So it's just manual everything. Manual brakes, manual steering, nothing fancy. Don't tell me. I was going to say, what, what all hoses and lines do we got here? I think that's just a heater. But what's this? That's what actually caught my eye. What would that be mounted there for? Woo! Here comes that wind. The wind's chilly. Uh, grill is not terrible. These poor bezels, just like mine were on our 61 wagon. A little beat up. This one's in a little bit better shape. I still can't get over that. <laughs> Here at Corn King Customs, we'll repair any, any fender damage you got. Hey, this thing's the same patina as my wagon, ain't it? Fender's in decent shape. Now, a little more rust down there, I see now. We already know the, the can repair. Yeah, this side's even worse. They tried to plaster over it. Uh, took a wham in the door at some point. They body fillered it, but it's got a little rot, a little more rot there. This patina combo is damn near like identical to the wagon though. She's got all the trim down the side. She's the Bel Air. These body styles, if you didn't know, you could get them Impala, Biscayne, or Bel Air. Used to have the fancy antenna on the back. What we got back here, rat's nest, no surprise. Shotgun shell, pretty typical. Deck lid has a little rot. We've got one out of four lenses. Back bumper's there, but she's been yanked on. Someone probably hooked onto this where it split with a chain. It gave and they took this out with it whenever that happened, would be my guess. Little damage all the way around. Hey, I wonder if that trim's the same as my wagon because we actually need a piece. Hey, there's Kenny. Back it up. I heard him yell, back up. Go back there and turn this way. More body filler. So someone back in the day had tried to fix on this car a little bit. Dang, you come inside and you can see where it was uh, jammed blue, kind of different uh because the rest of this kind of took a blue shade so i guess they painted this one out to here for the interior you know i have to back up miss piggy up in here you better make her say oink oink and get back here floor pans non-existent steering wheel she gone same interior or color as ours anyhow uh our headliner's in better shape thank goodness <laughs> In fact, our uh, interiors in the works right now at Top Stitch Taylor's, I gotta go pick it up Monday to take it to the glass guy. And then when he gets done fixing our windows and stuff, it's gonna be going back to Taylor to get finished up uh, interior wise. Look at the old Coca-Cola bottle in there. That's pretty cool. What's left of our glove, glove box compartment thingy. She was plumb full of rat's nest, obviously. Looks like we have a clutch. So I'm just assuming she was a straight six, three on the tree. Who knows how to tell looking underneath the hood. Hey, <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> right here we got uh, Kenny from Kenny's Classics. Hey, I'm Kenny from Kenny's Classics. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, Scrapyard Betty. Hey, oh. <laughs> Scrapyard Betty. Scrapyard Betty. So we're gonna use parts 
off this four door right here that I'm sitting on. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna use parts off this to put old Betty together. So that one's Betty. That's, That's Betty. Betty, not this one. Yeah, this is a uh, This is. <laughs> now, I don't know about that. I was trying to think of like, <laughs> Corn Can Kareen is her name. Do you oh, see that? Corn Can Kareen. Yeah, you oh, see I that? See that. <laughs> you got a good eye. Yeah, yeah, that's old Campbell's soup can right there. <laughs> you ain't seen no repair hey, that like that. That was body huh? work. That was body work but, back in the day. You see that? They did body work over it. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> And guys, I was wrong. Uh, this was an AC car. We got a dryer right there. Mm. So I guess I've never noticed on 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 my wagon, everything was tucked over through here because it was AC. Hey, they even put a light under the hood. Yeah, I so know. You can see. Now you may want to hang on to that. That may be a rare option. <laughs> hey, I'm for real though. Sudden that little crap on these cars, they bring big money because it's like you find out like, yeah, that was a dealer option and they never exist anymore. And someone knows about them. You're like, yeah, I'll see that light. $6,000. <laughs> Good thing is maybe if you get this one jacked up too, hopefully it's got a good frame. Yeah. Cause then you get you got some money back right got, there. Got two for one. So on these cars, guys, 61 through 64, two door or four door frames match, so it don't matter. And all the parts interchange or whatever, it all bolts on and off. Now if you start going to a wagon, I think they share with the El Caminos. They got a longer wheelbase. Uh suspension will still unbolt and rebolt and everything, but the frame's just a little longer. Uh, drive shaft's gonna be a little bit longer, but you got a lot of interchangeable stuff 61 to 64 and these frames I mean depends on if you want to spend the time and strip them down and you got a good just X frame People are selling them from 800 to 1500 dollars just depends kind of where you're at and convertibles you you're gonna spend more so. Yeah, you get one the Canadian frames what they call them where they manufactured them up there They're boxed a little more in the back people spend more money on them low rider guys like them because they're boxed in yep. Oh yeah, you are a lowrider guy. I ain't, I ain't telling them nothing about lowriders, am I? He's like, don't make me get the '63 out. Well, what about old Scrapyard Betty? Scrapyard Betty. We ain't looked her over yet. Someone was already starting to piece on that because we got a mismatched door. She's a bubble top. How much do you know about the bubble tops? Because I don't know a whole lot myself. Well, bubble tops, and this is a Bel Air bubble top, so it's a little bit rarer than the Impala. Okay. Uh, it came with less features. You know, uh, it might have came with a 283 or it came with a six cylinder, but some of them had a sneaky 409. Okay. So, in the Bel Air? In the Bel Air. So because I told y'all you got the Bel Air, the Biscayne, the Impala, but Impala is usually top dog. That's, you're spending a little more money for the Impala stuff. Yeah. And then the way I understood it, and I could be wrong, then it would go Bel Air, and then the poor man had the Biscayne. And yeah. that's all I've ever owned is a Biscayne. <laughs> <laughs> Until the wagon, I, I'm on my come up with the wagon. Right. Uh, it's a park. Did this? So this whole thing would roll down. Yeah, it rolls down. So that you're just bubble top, hard top. So it's just I've never, uh, I've never actually worked on one of these. Uh, whoever was fixing our fender over there may have got a hold of your old trunk pan here. Yeah. Look like they uh gas station sign. Yeah, it. that's what it looks like. That's what I was just about to say. You, you, you took the words out of my mouth. They gas station signed it. Hey, they were trying. Hey, they they welded it instead of nailing it or screwing it like the cans anyhow. Yeah. Holy cow. Bubblegum welded it. <laughs> these these those guys, the wagon, I'm just assuming with these cars too, the panels fit really good. This whole piece, I'm sure. You go around here and they make a whole piece that you can just replace that whole thing. It's gonna drop in. The floors themselves, they actually overlap like that seam right there. Mm -hmm. You take out all them spot welds and boop, yeah. that whole thing comes up out of there. If you're right. lucky and you got good rockers, your job just got really easy. Right. This back pan, same thing. Mm -hmm. Have to take these supports off, but yeah. uh, she's a bubble top. She's worth fixing all the fixing we get crazy custom and let's just put this on the four door now i'm just playing four four door bubble top so did this come on all or did they trim out the bell airs a little different i'm assuming so the bell air it has the same i think it shares the same one as the regular hard top you know the, the impala i think they're all even even the um so they got the two door impala one too okay so it it, it has the top like this uh-huh so they have a two door yeah they pull a hard top as well and right and my buddy has one it's pretty rare they're really rare yeah because that they're two door but they still have the little overhang and everything just, just like the this, same yeah. but this little stuff is the stuff i don't really know about but if you're someone who has to have one of these again you've got money and two emblems right there right because that's the little crap that adds up and gets you right 
<laughs> with all our hunting and digging around and finding these things that you don't never know where these cars gonna pop Dang, up at. someone was hitting hitting the sauce and getting lost in this thing that may have been how she got dents down her side <laughs> <laughs> you're a problem if we don't hurry up and... yeah we are gonna have a steering problem did you bring some zip ties <laughs> i do say we only got three wheel studs on that one this one's got a few more to choose from. This one has the motor mount. Y'all can tell it was a V8 opposed to those ones over there. Sometimes that these frames do rust out, it's usually pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. This one looks good, what I can see so far. Well, that's the game plan here. Combine as much as we can combine. Yeah. And just get a get old get a salvage yard Betty looking a little more less salvaged. Yeah. I think she's still gonna look salvaged when we get done. <laughs> we're gonna try to we're gonna try to do what we can do with her. That that's all we can do. Right now. Yeah, I mean our 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 or our hand is dealt to us. This is what we got. I think first, since we're gonna be crawling around, we may want to get started with getting it. Then you say you're gonna bring some wheels and tires? Yeah. Oh got wheels and tires. Where'd you get these original units? Huh? You like them? Dang. What you think? What are you going to do with that Datsun tailgate? You going to weld it to the roof or what? <laughs> oh, which is Mopar Kevin. Mopar Kevin. Mopar Kevin up there in uh, Wichita. He builds a lot of Mopar parts. And, yeah. You know, dashes. He wanted to give this to you at the swap meet. We, we didn't get to catch you. Oh, yeah. So, he sent it with you for me? Guys, I can't I can't avoid Datsun parts, can I? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a good wall hanger out of that, I'm sure. Hey, we'll take it. I appreciate it. Mopar Kevin of the Swap Meat Mania, man. That's him. I think we can scrub on that, probably hit her with some patina sauce, and she'll look good on a wall somewhere. Man, you weren't playing about having the right tires. Look at these good years, guys. Tubeless four ply polyester. That's about as original looking as you can get. Babies are looking right. Custom super cushion with the old flying shoe on it. That is slick. Got it. Kenny brought a whole nother hood. What else we got hit up in here? Transmission cross member for something. A little insert for a bumper. Got some. That's got to be for the window thingy to go up and down. Brought us some extra steering stuff. What else you got hit up in Miss Piggy? Oh, Miss Piggy got a bag of tricks in her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Piggy always got something up her sleeve. You must have waxed this thing since I seen it last because uh, it's a lot cleaner than last time. You think we're going to get the heater going today no. or what? <laughs> I just rummaged around in the trunk <laughs> and that's what was in the car. He's gonna he's gonna try to slap an interior in it. Yeah, we're gonna build it all in a day. I think we're gonna be getting doing good to get a front end on it and get I it on know. a trailer. <laughs> Just in case we need to get the we're side window far. going up and down and take her to the Sonic. Yeah, we, we we're gonna get ready for Sonic real quick here. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be getting no cherry lime made today. No. <laughs> Man, can't be mad about that. All right. I don't think we're gonna be getting into too much of that, but I think a solid first start's pulling the jack out. And let's see if we can get this thing jacked up. Get some tires on it. That's gonna make working on the front end easier. If we get that done, we may want to figure out our steering. Because either way we gotta load this thing at some point. What do you think? Jack her up? Let's jack her up. I didn't bring a low profile one, but this is the one that's just always in the back of the truck now. Shoot! That's gonna fit on there. I should have brought a wire wheel. Oh yeah. We may, we may only get a couple started. If two won't hold it, five never would have. You know that. We're gonna have to find some lug nuts too. I, we, we're gonna have to go borrow off some other stuff because I don't think there's enough here to salvage. All right, I'm gonna have to unload our our goodies here. You got a can of lug nuts? Miss me, me, Piggy never disappoints. What? Don't be bringing out your luby dooby. I done brought lube, luby dooby. <laughs> you, you, you got both flavors. Yeah, I got. WD-40. She's fast, fast acting, it says. Fast acting. What does this say? Penetrating <laughs> catalyst. <laughs> Should have brought some brake clean. We could have blasted all this dust off here. Right. Because like that one, that sucker's loose. Yeah. See that? Yeah. We may be able to uh, may be put able. some locking pliers on that and at least steal our lug nut. He brought parts. I brought tools. He brought a shop floor. Look at that. We do have a lug nut right there. It's on our loose 
stud. I'm curious if we can salvage it. Hey, there's one. Here's two. Not a good sign when that is what's falling out of the center of your lug nut. See that? Someone back in the day was stacking dimes, baby. She's just a little loosey-goosey. She'll get on and off the trailer anyhow. You get that one. That's our loose one. That's the loose one. But if we can grab it on the back and get uh -huh. that one across there. We'll get us a stick here to try to clean out the, the crib. while you put that on there? I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty dumb to try to get that one started. We got it off though. We're gonna work that back and on, or on and off. To hopefully clean some of the crud out of it. Is that tight? Yeah. That ain't tight, but that's tight. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> hey, she's ready to cruise the boulevard. All right, good thing Kenny brought his, cause uh, old Lucy Goosey here. I got her with the speed wrench. She's actually pretty easy to turn. We may not even want to get crazy with that socket and smoke it. Yeah. Because no easier than that's turning. Yeah. Kind of surprised. <laughs> she still, uh, doing it all good. tightened up. I was like, we're good. I thought we was. <laughs> trailer good. <laughs> yeah, it should make it on the trailer. Hey, we're supposed to be the ones making the racket. <laughs> <laughs> they're like what <laughs> uh guys cranked on that sucker a few more and look she's getting there we might be able to ride shiny with that i don't know about that one <laughs> i'll follow you with the trailer just in case yeah uh, it's better oh, we'll yeah, take it better. up front we ain't got none oh out back we got more than enough we got three so we'll take that one uh-oh shouldn't have done that I think that one just stripped on us. Did it? I think so. Yeah. We lost it. Oh, or is that a different? I don't well, know. It cleaned off, it cleaned off the, uh, the right. threads though. I wanted to get us one across to help hold that better, but okay. I think she has bigger problems. Two's two. Same thing on this side. We got one down low, different style. There's us. Two for the front, two that's all the way around. The, that's the thing about Impalas, you can kind of mix and match the bolts and nobody yeah. knows. Any road sign you want, goes right on. <laughs> it's part of, it's part of the, uh, the fender now. Try to wipe them clean. Went on. Yeah, way better than the other one. Oh man, we almost yeah, get that one. Get a little jism on there. Between jism and looby dooby, they're not gonna know what to do with themselves. That one cleaned up nice too. No big deal, but spring pocket right there. It's got a little split on it. We got bigger fish to fry. She's spinning. Spinning's uh -huh. winning. We just we just upped race sale a few hundred bucks right there. It's funny how much just sitting on like a set of wheels and tires always makes something look better. Now, yeah, you're right. She's a little pigeon toed. You don't got to say it. I know what you were thinking. <laughs> uh, I guess we could jack it up again and get us some bolts in that. Makes sense since we're here. Kind of straightened on us here. And I thought all we we're going to have to do is rob a couple bolts for our idler arm. But I did not realize the tie rod has left the chat. It is no longer present. So right now I'm thinking since he brought that set up, we could take a rag joint right there. If we can find a 7 16 I realized I forgot to uh, bring wrenches. The hard part's probably going to be getting this sucker off. Uh, that uh, the whole tire rod there. And then if we pulled our three bolts over here, this whole assembly would come off. I'm going to cut your tie rod with the angle grinder. How's that? Sounds good. Yeah, that's a fast removal. Well, you got 7 16 right there, 12 point. Yeah. Yeah. So we at least got one. Ratchet in one? Here's one of them too. Yeah, there we go. I'll speed her up a little bit. I'm gonna just give her the heat right from the start, guys. Guys, I'm gonna take this hammer and we're gonna shock that spindle. We're gonna hit it straight on. There's a little flat spot right there for that purpose. Also smacking it straight on. All the impacts going straight into that way, which should, uh, should help us out. 
Look at that. Too easy. One hit. Too easy. They call me the one hit wonder. So whatever this is, it's tied around our old regulator or relay or something. Mm -hmm. What in tarnation? All right. Man. I was trying to save his wiring and look. That wiring wasn't even from this. Or was it? Who knows? They just had it tied around here. This is part of the car. That's just custom alignment shim. We'll leave that in there. This sucker. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, that's what I wanted to Is actually freeing up pretty decent now. Oh, salvage yard Betty. Look at that. Easy as can be -zy. Easy as can be -zy. She's smooth as butter now. She gonna come out. She gonna come out by finger for us even. She gonna be a good car. She being nice to us, that's right. Spray her down again. I think it's probably free enough if we get this and it yeah. drops. Yeah. We won't have to fight it. Right. Gotta yeah, save this stuff. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, about Y'all think that dirt been working on that one for a while? Gold. Out with the old. That wasn't too bad getting it off there. Out with the old and in with the old. <laughs> Let's see if it may work. I mean, yeah, I know that one's cut, so that's gonna kind of be a problem. Oh man, yeah, and we cut that one. Not that we were gonna get it free anyhow. We have to get the old rag joint off this. Yeah. This is from a sixty. From a sixty. I, I mean, sometimes you gotta. That's what uh -oh. I say about mixing and matching. Oh. That's an amber, amber alert noise. Our bolts on this one come right out. We don't really know if this is actually going to work being from a 60, so we're going for a rough mock up. Well, that started. Get one more started on our gearbox. Our tie rod's cut, we know that. We figure if the rest will work, we'll figure out our chicken wire situation or something. That, yeah, and is that going to get back into our cross member? If you hold that there roughly, can't tell if that's actually going to clear that stuff or not. Yeah, we're in bad shape. <laughs> trying to record over here. Damn tornado siren right there. We're going to make this stuff from the 60 work. We roughed up a bolt. We think we can make it go. Oh, easy peasy. might be good enough yeah she got a thread because you're gonna have to swap back to whatever it right we're putting one bolt in here that's gonna work uh this one we're gonna have to find some tie wire about to go find some and then we're gonna break free our clamp over here and we're gonna try to suck this one in some get a little soaking action going get these soaking too dang you brought some i thought we we're gonna have to do some junkyard digging and find it I stay in the junkyard. This is your best friend. Yeah, is that how you keep Miss Piggy on the road? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> One and done. Oh, she popped right in. She popped right in. It'd be nice if she had some threads. That's right. That's why we got the pliers and the tie wires. I'm gonna have to do some MacGyvering. That's my middle name. All right. <laughs> that's a that's a Kenny Classic repair. And we still got wire to play with for the, for the next go around. <laughs> that, we're gonna need that wire to get them fenders on. Get that tie rod loose. Oh yeah. Man. Pop the clamps free. Guys, Ooh. I had to heat our ends a little bit. Put a little doobie on them. Put the lubie doobie on there. Oh yeah. And hit her with a little force. We're starting to get straight here. We may fool people yet. 
<laughs> I say, hell, hell, he's got a decent car on the trailer. <laughs> She's gonna roll a little easier, easier than being towed out now. <laughs> Thanks to Puddin. Puddin's putting Fabulous back in the game. Yeah, Puddin's Fabulous shop. Puddin's Fabulous Junkyard Adventures. It's about all she's got, guys. We've got her maxed out. She's gonna roll though and steer kinda. So we'll take it. We'll take it. We're sitting pretty straight now with our steering. Guys, I just looked. When you're good, you're good. I mean, that steering wheel is just sitting beautiful too. I uh, think she'll be ready to go down the road one day soon. We better get some back tires on it first, huh? Oh, damn. Got some desk stands for us? Yeah. We might need to put something to block that tire. Hey, you'll block block the front. We need to find something to put underneath our jack stand on the dirt too. Oh, gotta be something around here. Well, I ain't found nothing we could use. This tire tucked so high up in here. That's what we're kind of worried about. I may just try to pull it off there and it may swap over. Yeah, I wonder if we can wiggle yeah. the new one up in there. Dang, she's fancy. Got the red paint on the drum. She's high performance rig. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, you know about the Impala trick. Oh, she's skinny, but she ain't skinny enough. She's close, but she ain't gonna go without getting the weight off the jack, son. Gotta get under there. We're gonna stay away from it just in case and try to ease this down. Yeah, she's trying to move forward. All right, maybe that's enough. Oh yeah. There you go, she's on there. If you think that's hard, you ought to try getting a wheel and tire on that wagon. I already know. Them fat tires that wide. <laughs> it ain't no and with room. It, with it as low as it is, it's a chore and a half. It ain't no room. Oh, has nothing to do with that saying metric. That's metric, it ain't the right thing. It's metric and it's the close metric, but this definitely has a 7 16 stud on it from the factory. Tight is tight. Coming down. Yep. Coming down. Uh -oh. We lowered her down. She ready to go with you, man. She trying to roll, roll towards the trailer or something. She's trying to get home. Ready to get home. <laughs> she homesick already. You got a cherry bomb on here. Oh yeah. We, we may be able to workers cap. We need to find one lug nut for this side. Rear end was definitely a favor on that side some because getting this side on was a lot easier. I didn't even take the weight off our jack, actually. Uh, he said he found a cherry bomb on here. Oh, got the old glass pack, baby. Brum, brum, pop, 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 pop. That's exactly what a glass pack sounds like. A little rust in our rocker here. Inner rocker on this side looks really good. We got rust in that one brace. That ain't too hard to patch. This. All back in here looks good though. Uh, this car would not be bad to do floors in. Inner rocker, what I can see on that side looks really good too. So doing floors in this wouldn't be no harder than doing them in our wagon. Uh, pretty, pretty user friendly for even a, not a sheet metal guy like myself. All right, Kenny's gonna go find us a lug nut since we need one. I'm gonna do the important stuff. I can't put good tires on something and not hit it with tire shine. Oh man. <laughs> We gotta we, clean it up. We, we, gonna, we gonna trailer out of here in style. Guys, priorities is key when rebuilding a car. And clearly, we're to the point that we need tire shine. Now besides uh, clean tires, y'all know I'm a steely man. I am, I am. And I'll be damned if I let these look that dirty. So, I know it ain't much, but a quick little polish on them too. Oh yeah, get them real slicked up. That way as the wind blows, all that dirt just sticks to it, you know? Now with any luck, these are gonna pop on here. Oh 
old man. I know he wants to call it old Salvage Yard Betty. We may have to call it Shit the Bed Fred because those look good. Woo, baby! Man, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, it is a good thing I don't have a pressure washer because I guess I wasn't really paying attention, but our uh, color combination here, that nice gloss white top, and then this blue on the body, oh man, that really would be a dang good looking car back that color, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, man, that would look good redone. We just have to resell. <laughs> look, look, I'll just run over here to the car. <laughs> Give it a hug like you're happy to see it. Oh, man. Did you find you a lug nut? A couple of them. Good deal. No, it's the Sonic side. The Sonic side. When, when you pull on the Sonic, that's the side everyone sees. Don't worry about this side. <laughs> that side of the car set the bar too high for this side of the car, you know? We, we didn't think it was going to live up to the expectation. Think about lunch time here. Maybe, maybe time for a sack of pizza, you know? Did you bring lunch too? No, I brought you some Christmas presents, man. They, these are just stocking stuff. Bro. Oh, <laughs> what you think? Where'd you get those at? Oh man, cool. I had to stop into your favorite store. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we'll keep those. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I got me some in the shop, but you gotta have, you gotta have a setup for when you go mobile. Exactly. Go, go, go mobile. I was telling Kenny how it's Christmas time. He said, "Hold on." Hold on, you just reminded me of something. It's, it's supposed to be Christmas. Some place is all snowy and stuff. They're watching. We're out here in t-shirts and yeah. sun. <laughs> Putting a car together in the junkyard. Yeah. Oklahoma things. Yeah, we'll, we'll have snow tomorrow. Don't worry. Yeah, and a tornado the day after that, and then it'll be perfectly sunny again after that. Our little uh, redneck lunch kit here. That pizza's still good though, ain't it? Lunch and breakfast of champions. Right here. Cold pizza. We're looking at our deck lid situation. And them uh, hinges don't really want to relax, do they? A little, little uptight. That's probably what the RS means. Really stiff. I want your hand to be in there. They're just a little whoopy dude. And they're funky. Let's go down a little bit. I don't know what all I'm spraying. I'm just spraying and praying. Oh, I ain't spraying nothing. New can done locked up on me. Old PB Blast been doing that a lot lately. They're about to get fired from being in my shop. Oh, that can's working. Hey, Kenny, are the are the deck lids, they're the same? Yeah, four-door uh, Del Air would be the same, and four-door Impala, they'd be the same. So you just don't want that one because of the ring? Because <laughs> the circle of death on it or what? No, well, when I, I noticed some look, it's got a two piece part. Oh, it's got a two piece uh, selection right here. All right. But so the yeah. only thing we're going to need off of this is the original bolts. Yeah, that may turn into a spoiler. You start going too fast down the road, it may lift up on you. Looks like someone was nice and stored a wheel and tire on it for a long time, too. I want to cut it and make a wall hanger. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's where we'll save this and cut it and there make we a go. wall hanger. We got a sawzall right over there. We do. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to spray them up and give them a little. Yeah, these aren't looking the greatest. Do some work on it. Yeah. She could have been a bit big ticket item here with just a little set of wheels and tires on her, huh? Yeah. She looks better from here anyhow. Just don't go to the other side or look too close, you know. She's a twenty footer right now. Yeah, Somebody twenty footer. You may be being generous. Wait a minute. <laughs> Step back a she might be a fifty footer. Oh, slick fifty footer. We're gonna have to get these or they like bolts again. I did bring some bolts. I think these are gonna be a five sixteenths maybe. Man, this PB blast has just gone downhill. Plum full of stuff. Nothing will come out. I brought us some bolts here, and I'm glad I did. Especially with this. I'm actually going to try to cut our threads and put a slot in it. And that makes you a quick uh, tap set in a pinch. See, now as we run that through there, those edges will bite that and clean it. Gives a place for all the junk to go. It'll work good. I've got a meeting in the city. i got to go through this evening. Uh, I figured out why my tap ain't working because I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's a 5 16ths, but this is a dash 18 and that's a dash 24. It's fine thread. So, don't make a tap. Uh, I think we're going to be all right though because all it did was change these threads to this. Sorry about that. All right. 
<laughs> I thought I, I thought I was being a smart guy here. She may end up tightening up, guys. I can't really tell if it's doing good or bad. I'm afraid to take it too too far. Kenny said the other bolt broke. Just use the impact, and I got our last one out. So we got two bolts anyhow. We got. Two. Yeah, we got two. That's one, all we need. One for each side. That's all we need. Hey. We're in luck. Junkyard is sighting. She got a little more, a little bit more of a booty on her anyhow now. <laughs> a little something covering up the trunk. Oh yeah. Let's see where they went up a little high on the bumper. Oh yeah. Your bracket's into it a little bit. You wanna try to put bolts in it or you wanna leave it? Let's try to put bolts. I think the hinges are actually tweaked a little bit. We adjusted it around a little bit, guys, and look at that beautiful alignment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we pulled the bolts back out. Them hinges are tweaked on, and we're doing good just having that sitting in place, much less worrying about fixing hinges right now. I think we'll call it good. You gonna get in there and a town stomp it or what? Something. Oh, there it go. Yeah. We're in. You rock the new balances? That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. All right, we're seeing what we got to pull here for our front end. Couple bolts in here, it looks like. Got a bolt here. Move some of our nest and cedar here. Two bolts in our fender wheel from it to the firewall. A bolt right here from the hinge to this brace. And of course, our core support bolts are going to be somewhere up in there. Any of this wiring attached. I don't think I've ever pulled a front end on one of these, so we're going to just start going at it and see what we can figure out. We just start at the front and work our way back, I reckon. So we're going we're gonna to have to pull the bumper off to be able to fish it out of there. That ain't fun. All right, so we got a lot of work on our hands. For our bumper, we got these two, and then that one over there, and back over there. We just gonna start soaking what we can soak. If they all come as easy as that bolt just did, we'll be in good shape. Well, I'm getting spoiled now. a little more honorary holy rusted brake drum that's a new one i never seen one rusted across like that before that uh clip spinning i think oh we're we're right there there it goes look at that that sucker has some pressure on it oh yeah it did whoo that's hot hot potato <laughs> Can you fry something off of that? I guarantee it. <laughs> Reheat that pizza if you want. Yeah, that ain't gonna clean much. We're just gonna have to hope for the best. Man, that thing's fighting us at the end. A little rod tough. on the frame right there. Yeah, she is tough. I know we got a bracket here uh, for the outside. And then I was telling Kenny, our bolt right there that goes to our hood support, yeah, it goes through right that, there. but it's attached to our bumper, I think. I should not have to do a 61 bumper. I just put the one back on the wagon not even a couple months ago, but I may have forgot already. No, she, she came off. She came off? What? Came off. Good quality bolt here. Yeah, something spinning right there. Oh, what's on in the bottom this? side? Huh? What's on? Oh, it, it broke off. Is it's it a one, clip? It's one right in here behind this tag display. Huh? Yeah. I didn't bring a very ah, good you know Phillips. Where I got the drills in. Oh well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See what's come out that easy. I ain't mad about it. <laughs> All right. This whole front end was this easy. Now we can get to it. 
Yeah, what we got going on now? Well, that's actually part of the bumper, though. Yeah, yeah. that this whole piece is part of the bumper. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. We just got to get that clip that broke. Mm -hmm. Maybe some locking pliers or something on there. Someone had to tear it up with their impact, you know. Here we go. She free? Yeah. I can't think of nothing else on these front bumpers. All right. There's our front bumper. Yeah, she was going. Had to put that new balance into it. Told you we had to get a fresh brain. I took my spark plug socket because it's a 5 8 And I was like, well, we ain't got no room. He got down there and said, oh, shoot, let's put a wrench on it. That's thinking with your noggin. His noggin's a little more polished than mine, you know? It works a little better. Let's just uh, disconnect. Who would have thought this rusty front end was gonna give us troubles? That one come out nice. How come this is white, but that paint is blue? This car's a little funky. Maybe, oh. Maybe the whole car got repainted blue over the white and it was falling off there. That one stuck. All right. And what do we got? Oh, just the one up top. And then one's gonna be down on the bottom. Yeah. I'm assuming. You know what assuming does. It gets us this far anyhow. <laughs> Fender bolts are being nice so far up here. Down here where the rust is may be different. We ain't that lucky. She just spin him. <laughs> I'm about to say, you kidding me. Yeah, she's spinning. These blades ain't the greatest. First time ever trying them. Not impressed mm. so far. See all that crap falling out of there? That's why it's nice and rusted in there and why we're in the predicament we're in. There she went. Got her off. <laughs> she popping free over there? She getting there. Y'all didn't think this side was gonna come loose, did you? I'm not even gonna try. I can already tell. We just gonna tear stuff up. I done tore it up. I done got my tool stuck on there. Jack her up. <laughs> oh. Got a problem? Whole, whole bottom of the fender's gone. That's the problem. <laughs> Why is that cut out like that? That's funky. It was obviously done like that. I can't tell what's going on here. But yeah, she's been a little bit. NASCAR. Yes, sir. You're a NASCAR driver? No, I'm crew chief, mainly like in the truck series. Oh yeah? But uh, Crew chief? Yes sir. What are you doing in St. Louis Salvage? Same thing we're doing, having fun? <laughs> that is spinning. Yeah, what do you think of our bubble top project here? That looks nice. Just cause the wheels and tires. We, we put her back in the dirt how we found it and you'd be going, eh. <laughs> Look at this guys, I can't believe that is spinning. Yeah, maybe the nut plates in there spinning. Yeah, we may not be doing no good. I thought we were. We got the we got the helpers from the salvage yard here. They're gonna give us a hand. When we got them bolts spinning down in there, guys, the top's just spinning. And I'm gonna try to get this bolt down here. And if I can't get it with this, we've got a cutting torch handy. Be an honorary. That could have made our life easier earlier, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> could all call it bolts off. You can't take the easy road to everything, you know? You gotta earn it. Right. Now. Oh, let down quicker than I thought. There she is. That really wasn't too bad. Considering. Could be a lot worse. Now this 
obviously it's just a rusty mess i was gonna say we should cut it before we put it on there but it may fall off before we even make it that far this side the fender's actually good y'all see that uh just the the body side of things the nut was spinning a little slice and dice there's your bracket kenny <laughs> Put that in the back of Miss Piggy. You're gonna need that. Oh, look at all them shims they had up in there. Hey, it was uh, shimmed up for the best. Yeah. It'd be straight. <laughs> How about on this thing? There's our hole, hole down there, one right here. Don't be losing sockets now. We'll be in bad shape. Other than that, I don't think we have too much to worry about as far as just getting ready to carry that one over here. May need to get our doors open. Does that one open up? Ah, shove that. Oh yeah. Oh. Help. <laughs> you got the speed hole in the floor? What yeah. happened? That's a Flintstone hole. M missed the step? Yeah, missed the step and went through the floor. But hey, that's... that's your brake system. This thing's rolling so good, I'll shave you down the hill. When you need to make that lee roll and turn left, just put your feet down and Flintstone it, like you said. Oh, she's only got a one bolt out of six holding the door on, on these hinges. That's why she's tweaking on you. Yeah. So don't shove on her too hard. All I was holding her was one bolt, that latch in the back, and a hope and a dream. Go ahead and get our bolts over here. Get a little pre-lubrication in the situation. I wish it just goes on a little easier. You feeling strong? Good deal. It almost feels wrong to put a green bean can front clip on a bubble top. I ain't gonna lie, but it's what we got to work with, you know? Yeah, right into place. Good you thing that wasn't a nice painted car because we would have just done some damage. Nice. <laughs> we need to get a big block in this thing to lower that front down. She looks like she got a lift kit now with a set of tires and a front clip. Close that where we can set our gaps. We want perfect gaps on this show car. I mean, I ain't mad at it. Look at that. I put air right on this thing, put some patina sauce on it and drive it as is. I think we'd have to shove the whole thing maybe backwards and the bottom will kind of. I don't want to tighten the bottom one too much because it's rusted, but we did get this one tightened. That's good enough where we can open our door. Of course, that needs shoved in, but Kenny said he has another front end available to him, and he didn't realize this one had the corn cans and green bean cans and soup cans and all that. So he's not convinced that this is going to be the front clip that's staying on the car, uh, but we both kind of agreed since we were in it today, we had to at least see it with a front clip on it. So we're going to just probably throw the other bolt tied up there one on the no we can't do the bottom we cut the bracket off on that side yeah uh, we got to figure out how to kind of clamp the front too i didn't bring zip ties that front would have been perfect with two zip ties you got tie wire we're good yeah i just did a couple threads on that bottom mm -hmm. to keep it from shoving all the way out so i just left it loose where we don't you know tighten it tighten it but i bet we can do the same thing on this side As we get later in the day and we know we're gonna start running out of sunlight, our expectations, well, they start to lessen a little bit, don't they? Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't figure out why, because this door, now it only has one bolt out of six, so that ain't good, but it does sit in our door opening pretty good. It actually closed pretty good. Uh, I don't know why this fender's sitting so bad over here, other than I can see on our, uh, bracket for our inner fender wheel right there that it's not lined up when we get this all lined up where it's real happy yeah. the front end ain't happy at all talking about our frame mount versus our core support mount so like i said he ain't he ain't too worried about leaving this front end on there so we already know this is our ugly side so we're not going to worry about it we really just contributed to what's already here Over there. that's going to get a little bit 
Also, y'all can see this bracket I was talking about. It's tight, but it's at the wrong angle. That needs relaxed for some of this stuff to match up better. Because this can't go back that away. Because as soon as we shove it back that away, it just hits that bracket and stops. Yeah, good enough for now. All right. Where's the tie wire? We're going to mount our core support. Oh, baby. Let's get a little something on her so when she's going down the road, she may not flop off. Yeah. You got her dual stranded. So I picked it up and managed to get it through there. I just had to kind of pick it up first. Just something to help keep her from flapping in the wind. We don't need that in the way, do we? Oh yeah. That was bad. You want them other hinges? Now since our front end ain't lining up good at all, that we're not even gonna bother trying to make a bumper line up on there. That front end was gonna fall right into place like it really wanted to be there. Uh, we were gonna throw the bumper on that thing, but I think if we throw it on there, I think it's gonna be hitting and rubbing because that front end's a little whoopy due to the car. Maybe the frame, maybe the front end, I don't know. I just know that uh, she ain't getting the bumper. <laughs> yeah, not today anyhow. Now, as far as pulling the hood hinges, I think we're going to do for the hood like we did the deck lid. We just wanted to be able to set that hood into place. I'm trying to figure out our safety latch. She ain't got a spring, but it sits back, so that shouldn't stick us up. But as far as the normal latch, she seems to be pretty happy. Maybe she'll lock into place. One piece at a time. It costs more than a dime. <laughs> About to have him bring that torch over here where I can heat them coil springs and see if she looks like slammed down. Man, some air ride, air ride on that thing, just slammed down on his belly. I'd put a glass in it and drive it. You'd see me going through town, proud as could be. <laughs> she looks like she need a 409 in there or something to go and bring that oh, in down, huh? She needs something to get her down. She looks like she got a lift kit and a half. Fresh out the dirt. Hey, man. For what? What was sitting there? Not that it's really that much better but you, you put some of the missing pieces on and you see a bigger picture, you know what I mean? Clean that up our workshop. Damn, lift kit, Osaurus Rex, that thing is massive. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I built the 61 wagon and I first put the body back on and the front end was sitting like that. If you don't got no weight on them, then things will sit way up there. This is gonna be a little tricky because that thing does roll so good. We're gonna have to get the, we gotta have room for it to be able to turn. So probably about where you're at is where we need to get the rear of the trailer to. Oh yeah. So the scrounger I'm gonna you, find something good off of there yeah, after you, all. You better take it with you just in case. Mock-up tool. <laughs> got Miss Piggy loaded back down. Almost. Got one more. Oh, you got all your windows and stuff. Or did you yeah, put I'm them gonna... inside already? Yeah, He's got the frame we need. This ain't actually four-wheel drive, he said. He put that bed on there. If anyone knows where a frame, preferably from like a truck with a blown motor or something is, uh, 2000 and newer, say to 2010-ish. I don't know the years very good especially two-wheel drive i'd love to have a chassis like that to put underneath our lodestar project we're gonna be in a funky spot here guys if i go back much further it keeps getting the trailer higher which we don't want but we also need room to be able to straighten up the car. But once we go to get up on here, we're still gonna be rolling downhill. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of go for it. Uh-huh. I don't know who was messing with my trailer last. It may have been me. I don't think so though, because I never leave it like that. We're lucky we didn't lose ramps coming down the road. You got your one other wheel chalk over there. Uh, 
All right, here she comes. You can see front ones are rolling, rear one not so much. See if our redneck tie rod holds or not. Don't forget it's got tie wire on rear. Look good over there? Good. One good thing about it dragging, guys, he said the other ones are all rolling. That should uh, keep us from rolling away on our trailer. I'm more of a glass half full kind of guy. As I said, I had all that trash with me. She even brought this back to you. Oh. She's about to lose it here. Was it in the trash pile? Yeah. No, she was like, don't forget that. I'm glad that's a good one too. Let's get ready to haul. Well, before we strap that hood, you just gotta take a moment and take it in. Cause it looks way better on the trailer. Sure do. Strap our front end down and got one for our trunk. I think Kenny's making some Instagram videos by some other vehicles he's after out here. I'm gonna finish strapping this sucker. Then I'm gonna, I think he's gonna follow me to my house. I'm gonna store this for him for now until he can come get it. He said his trailer's like two weeks out. They're putting new axles underneath it or something. Uh, so we'll get this stored up for him. I mean, it sucks the antennas are tore up and missing, but at the same time, it made it a good place to strap it and keep it safe. Right. So, I think she's loaded, ready to hit the road. You can look underneath her a little more now. Frame looks good. Uh, I noticed earlier your rockers look good. Inner rockers? Mm -hmm. If inner rockers are good, replacing the floors is a whole lot easier. I already have a floor pan for it. Yeah. A complete floor pan out of original 61 oh well even the aftermarket panels are good i did the ones in that wagon mm -hmm. and they literally plopped right into place it, it ain't like most aftermarket panels mm -hmm. the floors for these are good your one brace on that side that one may be i'll see what it yeah what it, he can get the lift on there, so. so he got that one to lift that one has a little rot but not much okay. but that that's it as far as i've seen all right well country roads take me home I think we're loaded and ready to go. Got a bubble top on the trailer. We got a load on. Nice little cruise through the junkyard. Uh, I do got a crate in the back of this pickup that belongs to Sammy. It's for sitting the motor on. So I gotta stop up here real quick, toss that out, and then that's gonna let me hop in front of Miss Piggy and Kenny. That way uh, I can lead the way. I'll just leave that there for old Sammy. I know you're always scheming. What you scheming now? What you eyeballing up here? I'm always eyeballing something. One of my friends, they were looking for a 50 model Ford, and this might be the perfect car for them. Oh yeah. Yeah. She looks like a, look like she had a fresh paint job. Somebody started on it. They they didn't it just didn't finish. We don't know if they passed away, but you know sometimes that's the best way to get a car. Well, she uh she had a fresh paint job at one point. Yeah. I don't know. I'd call her fresh any anytime soon well we made it here to a junkyard kenny said i was throwing glass at him all the way here <laughs> just planking it off miss piggy or what uh unloading is gonna be a little trickier just because that is a uh, dragon got the strap on the rear end we're gonna just try to use the tow roller and i'm gonna try to tug it back that away and actually since we got this uh got this old tire foam Slope her down a little bit yeah well, uh, uh huh. We'll get her slicked up a little bit. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. We'll see what happens. I'll get that tow roller over here. Oh, we used the tow roller when you got the 79, oh, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. We shoved it up on your trailer. Yeah, you said tow roller is the truth. I made a believer out of you, huh? I, do it again. I was like, I'm gonna get my Corolla. You were like, do what? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, just wait. <laughs> she, she'll get it done. I'll do it again. With this being on the shell, guys, I don't know how this is going to act one bit, so this will be new. Hey, 
We didn't really doubt her, did we? Again, I gotta, I gotta talk good about the Toro. <laughs> she has saved me again. This is part two. That thing shouldn't work as good as it does for no more than what it is. Dang, Torella's supposed to have a lift kit, but your car sits higher than it does. I'm gonna have to get some mud tires for this thing. You don't get her lowered down soon. Man. <laughs> We're gonna have the uh, bubble top Torella. We'll just make it front wheel drive and put the mud tires on it. All wheel drive. There we go. All right, we got our, our stuff to still unload from the truck, but as far as the, the car and the trailer, we are unloaded. Hey, she don't even look. Yeah, she don't look as good. We should have put the other, flipped around the other side, huh? Right. Yeah, that's all right. Guys, man, I appreciate y'all watching. I know this video is probably shorter than my usual content, I'm assuming, because uh, we recorded it in four, five, six, I don't know how many hours it's been now. Sun's starting to go down. And when it gets about right there where it's at, it drops quick. Yeah, it's, it's getting cold. it's getting cold, ain't it? Oh, y'all notice I put the old, the old hoodie back on. Uh, but I hope y'all enjoyed. I had a good time. I ain't done nothing like that in a while. Me and Kenny's been wanting to make content together for a while. So I had a really good uh, day out there. If you're going to work on something, a cool car like that, I mean, that, that'll motivate you. Uh, it, looks so much, it, it looks so much better on the trailer, too, just being out of the junkyard. Uh, I could just imagine how good this thing would look on this side, at least, if we uh, even took it by the car wash yeah. and, and washed it up. Got it with the foam brush. That whole roof would be white showing some paint and that just make her look like the show car she ain't <laughs> uh, guys check out kenny's classics on instagram anything else you want to show them there we go kenny's classics he got phone number on there he's always actually, actually i need to put on a cleaner shirt oh don't worry about that you look like a hard working man you see him chasing down from 55 to 64 but you do a little more than that we too. Yeah, he, he Chevelle parts. We look for everything, cutlass, those mobiles, whatever you, whatever you need. So I appreciate y'all watching. For the last time, I said it like three times. Of course, if you want you a hoodie, well, they're probably not released yet. Coming the first year, you'll be able to get a hoodie. We're gonna release more. Other than that, good quality merchandise at thepuddingsfabshop.com. We appreciate all the support. Uh, that helps this dream grow and keeps this alive. So I can't thank you guys enough. I can't thank you enough just for coming and watching. And uh, what? else i reckon that's it i'm on the instagrammer i'm on the patreon i apologize for the wind again and i will see you guys next time but do not forget sitting on your ass won't finish a project oh yeah merry christmas by the way merry christmas y'all